I heard the sweetest sound this week. And the joy is contagious. It's In Real Life, Episode 3. With Paloma laughing, it reminded me that kids are innately joyful. It's like the world hasn't tarnished them too much yet. And uh, I think all of us are generally like that. You know, we're born relatively happy. And then as we get older, you know, life's problems, being harmed by others, just kind of the weight of the world comes upon us. And we either get crabby or angry or serious. And I know at least that's the case for me, that through the years, I've become more and more serious. And it's just kind of my natural default. I have to work at being more joyful. Um, and you know, it wasn't always like that. When I was a kid, I was a riot, as my mom would say. I was always trying to make people laugh. I was goofy. Uh, in fact, we made up this game in my family called Make Me Laugh, and I would always win. And the whole purpose was just to try to get everyone to giggle as much as possible. Yeah, so I've been thinking about that this week. And a friend of mine came over not too long ago, and she is like a soul sister for me. I love her to pieces. And she brought this little vial of oil of gladness. And she anointed me with this oil, and we were laughing about it and just talking about joy. And uh, and then I started thinking back, you know, kind of connecting the dots in my life. And uh, about a year ago, this woman who I'm, you know, acquaintances with, basically, uh, just gave me this picture. And she's like, I just felt like you were supposed to have this. And I was like, okay. And, uh, and then a while earlier, I was on vacation and I was kind of out there on a morning walk and I saw this sign. And I'm like, hmm, do you think I'm getting a message here? Yummy. Well, food brings me joy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so you'll see our groceries that they're a little bit smaller than usual because I've really stocked up on some things in the weeks previous. Uh, a while back, I was at Whole Foods and they had organic chickens on sale for two bucks a pound. So I bought nine whole chickens. Uh, crazy. But anyways, here are our groceries. Okay, I did kind of a mini run this week. I got lots of kind of bread products because we <laughs> were totally out. So this is some sprouted bread. Uh, it's called Genesis bread and it's by Food for Life. Really yummy. Uh, I also got the Ezekiel sprouted corn tortilla, or I'm sorry, these are the grain tortillas. I really like their corn tortillas, but they didn't have them. So I'm going to give these a whirl. They're a little bit bigger. And then I got by the same brand, some uh, English muffins. Griffin loves English muffins. Then I got Mary's Gone Crackers. These are really, really yummy, gluten-free, wheat-free. Um, they're really nice in hummus. Um, I splurged on this. This is, wow, the wonders of wheatgrass. And as you can see, they're like little containers of wheatgrass juice. And so you defrost it and then you slug it down. I'm just feeling like I need some extra greens this week. These are some organic eggs. I got some yummy green olives, um, some hummus for those crackers, some wild caught shrimp, uh, carrots, kale. This is on sale, this dinosaur uh, kale. So that was kind of nice. Some rosemary, because I really stocked up on chicken last week because they were having a major sale, and I love chicken with rosemary. Um, some heirloom organic tomatoes, two packages of those. Lots of carrots. These pears were on sale, so stocked up on those. Bananas, a couple plantains, and then over here is our dairy section. This is some supernatural yogurt plain. I got some brown cow vanilla for Mike. Some um, yogurt drinks, we give that to Griffin. Uh, some milk and then for Michael some home run in pizza. Yes, once in a while He does like to splurge on this as a treat. I don't touch it, but hey, we're keeping it real here And here are some of the meals we've been enjoying this week We're spreading a little joy at mamanatural.com right now. We have the biggest giveaway ever. We've ever, ever, ever had in our three and a half years online. So be sure to check it out. We are giving away to one lucky mama or papa a lifespan treadmill desk. I've done a video on this. I've talked about it. I've tweeted about it. I've shared about it. I love it. And you could win one too. They're worth $1,300. So be sure to check it out. Link is in the video description below. Well, I went to church once last month. Let's face it, it's very difficult to get in the car when my child has a huge aversion to it. So Mike and I have been kind of trading off or just not going. Uh, but anyways, I did go once last month and this girlfriend came up to me and she's like, Genevieve, I had a dream about you. I'm like, really? What was it? She said, I was kind of looking down in the scene and it was Jesus and he was watching your Crunchy Mama videos, the ones that we made. 
and he was laughing hysterically, just like belly laughing, and he kept rewinding it so he could watch it again, and it really touched me. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Thank you so much for sharing, and what I took from it, I mean, because you know, dreams are kind of crazy, and who knows all the different meanings, but what I took from it was that God thinks I'm funny. You know, isn't that sweet? And I bet you he thinks you're funny too. Um, but it just really touched my heart. I'm like, you know, thank you. I needed to hear that. And it's okay to be funny and to be silly. And I think Griffin thinks I'm funny too. Because every night when I'm just about to put a tuck him in, he's like, Mama, I want to tickle you. And so and then he starts tickling me. And, you know, being the good mom that I am, I pretend like I'm being tickled. And I pretend to laugh. And I have to kind of like fake it till I make it. But before I know it, I'm like really <laughs> laughing and it feels good. And then I start tickling him. And of course, within like a heartbeat, he is hysterically laughing to the point where he can't breathe. Deep belly laughing. I'm like, you got to love kids. They just jump to joy like that. Uh, so anyways, it reminds me of those group of people. There, There's actually these groups that get together and they just laugh intentionally because it's actually supposed to be good for us. Not only good for our immune system and our health, but for our spirit and our mental wellness and all this stuff. So I need to be doing more of it. <laughs> Speaking of jumping for joy. Paloma would like to present the ultimate bubble pop. Go! How about you? When was the last time you had a deep, serious belly laugh? And what was it about? Share with me in the comments below, and thanks as always for tuning in.